Oh, yes! There's some ram plow action, beautiful! Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam and G Drive. In today's episode, we have probably the most exciting vehicle I've ever seen in Beam and G Drive. If you can't tell, uh, we got a forklift in the game now, which I know is just so freaking exciting. Well, what can you do with a forklift? Well, you can turn on the lights. Check it out. <laughs> you can put it in reverse. It makes a sound, but you know, most importantly, it uh, it lifts stuff. So I think we need to try that at least once here. So let's get it over here. I think there's yes. Can we get those under there? Come on, I see, I see it wanted to go. Come on, you got one job, dude. Come on, <laughs> get under there. There we go. Okay, so not the most um, probably efficient way to get it on there, but uh, let's see if we can lift it up. Yes, we can. Beautiful. Okay. We are in business. No. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, guys. I'm going to drop the uh, the facade now. This isn't exactly what we're going to be looking at today. As impressive as this is, um, it's not the most exciting thing ever. But you know what is exciting? Super duper extreme versions of the of the forklift. So uh, if we go down to the uh, Wolf Heavy Industries forklift, we'll see a few interesting variants here. Uh, we are using the FL55D, which is a 5.5 ton capacity diesel forklift, which I think is very impressive. But uh, <laughs> we have some interesting ones here, like the training, uh, which has a, a wing on the front of it. It says, to let you get more of a feel for this, this toned down version exists. Uh, should make controlling it a bit easier. So that's like the training racing forklift. Uh, then we have the track version, uh, which is a track focused forklift. Not something you see every day, but it's there. Uh, we also got a show off. The counterweight was, was removed to create an easy line of sight with a big V8 engine. A V8 engine? Hold on a second. What? <laughs> this thing has a V8. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Can this thing even lift any forks? I mean, technically, I guess you could, but... Wow! Look at that! Yeah! It doesn't want to shift for some reason. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so that's the uh, the show-off edition, so you can see them. I imagine these other ones probably have a V8 uh, as well. We have a Ram Plow edition. Uh, lifting things isn't the only thing this forklift can do. It can flip things with plenty of power, uh, powerful engine, and you can get up to speed to prepare for impact. We also have Jado Rocket edition. No mod is complete without this. Yeah, that's true. Uh, enjoy the many speeds inside a forklift. Which may turn out to be quite terrifying. <laughs> yeah, a, a rocket-powered forklift. Totally not terrifying at all. And then, of course, we have a, a drag version. If you feel like the right vehicle to beat a supercar should be a forklift, then I got the right thing for you. Powered by a 1,500 horsepower V8. Quarter mile in 11 seconds. My God. That is just a bit insane. You know, I think I kind of want to try this out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Okay. This is, uh, this is, this is something I was not prepared for. Uh, so we're going to turn on the NOS <laughs> and uh, we're going to do this. Hold on. We need to turn the lights on. Oh, this one doesn't have the safety lights on it. Dang it. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, but here we go. Three, two, one go lots of tire spin oh my goodness keep it straight keep it straight keep it straight keep it straight <laughs> all right maybe we should uh maybe we should try that one again um oh there's just so much power hold on i'm gonna I'm gonna kind of ease into it here. Come on. Doesn't want to stay straight for whatever reason. 100 miles an hour. 
and a forklift. Oh boy. Every bump in the road you can feel though, unfortunately. Okay, okay, okay. Let's hit this jump. Let's attempt to hit this jump. We're not going fast enough! Where's the 11 second quarter mile? I don't know. Uh-oh. Oh no. It's a bouncy boy, that's for sure <laughs> Okay. Well, I mean, that was interesting, but maybe we should try the Jado version. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be nutty. This is gonna be nutty. All right, here we go. The Jado rocket forklift. Is this just a normal forklift with the rockets or does it have like that big beef V8 in it as well? I don't know. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, no. We're on, why are we on fire? Oh God, okay. Try that again. Let's get the first person. Oh no! This is insane. This is impossible to, to control. You gotta be very careful here. Oh, no. Come on. Hold it, hold it, hold it! No! Wow, are the rockets still attached? Kind of. Now they're not. You know, maybe we we just I want to I want to launch this over the can the canyon here. So maybe we just need to get a little closer. Uh, I mean, since we have the Jados, we don't need to be that far away. So you know, let's just start on the bridge. And see if that's uh, that's close enough. Because one way or another, we're gonna get this thing flying. Um, just a matter of uh, just a matter of how. Okay. Reset. Get it lined up. Why did you go to the right, my guy? It just it just starts to drift one way or another, and you can't really do anything about it. Oh my goodness! What a complete mess. Nope. Nope. Yes. Yes. There we go. Quite possibly the roughest launch of all time. But we did in fact. <laughs> we did in fact launch it. Oh my goodness. What is the point? What is the point of this mod? <laughs> I really don't know. Oh my god. Okay, you know, maybe I do need to try that uh, training one here. Uh, <laughs> be careful with the steering. It steers on the rear. Yeah, that would have, uh, I mean, that's good to know for sure. Uh, it definitely is not easy to get used to. Alright, so this is the, uh, the starting version. <laughs> is it still fast though? I mean, it sounds good. Let's turn on the NOS. Tires immediately popped, dude. What did I even hit? That little blip right there, that's what did me in? Apparently. Hold on. All right, there we go. No suspension whatsoever. <laughs> Although I don't know why there would be any, but uh, so we're gonna hit this ramp at 60 miles an hour, baby, yeah! Not even close, bud. Not even close. Oh my god. There we go. Into the pit. Oh, that's a long way down. That is a long way down. Okay, so... <laughs> Speaking of a long way down, you know, maybe we should go to the top of the tippy top of the hill. Oh, hold on, where's Crash Hard? I know we're on Crash Hard, but I'm literally so lazy that I would rather, um, where the heck is it? Am I blind? There it is. I'm literally so lazy, I'm just gonna spawn myself at the top of the hill. <laughs> okay, so let's see if the Jado, because I do like that Jado Rocket Edition, man. Uh, let's see if the Jado is any easier to control. I don't think it's going to be. Uh, but let's see if it's a little easier to control down the big hill here that's totally not smooth at all. Oh boy. Oh boy. Valve train already damaged. Oh no. We're doing it! We're doing it! 
We're not doing it. We're not doing it. Oh, no. Okay. Just take it slow. Take it slow. There we go. Let's get some momentum. Why can you not stop bouncing, dude? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Get back on those tires, man. Oh, this is impossible. Literally impossible. Okay. Just. All right. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow. S slow down. The brakes are not very good on this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Reset. There we go. Okay, we do need to clear this jump, though. Can I get a version with a suspension on it? I think that's what we really need. Oh, this is kind of working. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Come on. Oh, we lost the rockets. We lost the rockets. Oh. Very bouncy, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a positive or a negative. Okay, so... Oh, my goodness. All right, obviously, this isn't this isn't working. So, we need a flat area here. So, I think we need to go uh, to West Coast, USA, and we need to go on the highway. All right, we just got to get in position. Ignore the uh, square wheel. This is still my default car at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Not the most practical, but it's still, I think it's pretty funny. All right, so, uh, should we try the ram plow? Or, no, I, I really want to see if I can get this Jado one going fast here. This is going to be it. This, it's going to happen. <laughs> Keep it straight, my guy. Come on. It's literally impossible. Maybe not literally, but it's incredibly hard because it just automatically g it turns and then if you try to correct you flip over That's it. You're done So this might be quite possibly the most useless Jado rocket of all time Because it just leads to, to sadness every time So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spawn up some traffic and we're gonna get the Ram plow edition out and see how that one fares. <laughs> All righty, here we go. <laughs> it's breaking already. Oh boy. This one actually controls easy compared to the other ones. Oh! I think the, um, I think the ram plow is actually helping our stability here quite a bit. Look how wobbly it is though. That's not good. But I think this is actually going to work. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, come on. Oh, it's breaking. All right. Come on, come on, come on. I think it's the actual forklift part that's still getting caught. <laughs> it's still getting hit. Let's hit this blue guy. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, I lost it. Come on. Oh, my goodness. It's still really hard to control. Don't think that it's not. Oh. All right. Can I hit you? Yeah. That kind of worked. It did get caught on the, uh, the actual lift part, though, still. I don't know how we're supposed to get around that, but um, let me let me hit one more person. Man, we really wrecked that guy though. Shoved him right off the highway. Kind of satisfying. All right, keep it keep it steady. Ugh! Yes! There's some ram plow action. Beautiful. And what about you? Put a big old dent in the side of you. Hey, let's go the wrong way here. This thing does turn on a dime, though. It's got that going for it. Let's get a head-on collision. Ugh! Kind of. I lost it again at the last second. Oh, should we get the, the T-Series? I'm punching up here! Whoa! 
That actually worked. <laughs> what? And then I lose control again. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll hit one more. Here we go. Yeah. I mean, all things considered for a forklift, it hits pretty hard. It really does. But I don't even know if I should attempt this, but I, I feel like I should at least, I, I guess we should at least try to get this thing down the car jump arena. Uh, something tells me we're going to have really bad luck actually getting down the hill, uh, but we got to try. Alrighty, so should we try, which one should we try? You know, the, the ram plow was pretty quick and it was the easiest to control. So I think my best bet is to use the ram plow. Although I wish we could get the Jado working. I just don't see it getting down without swerving because it just swerves for no reason. So this is my best bet right here. And even this is, this is drifting. Keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it straight. Yeah. We cleared it. 150. Can we make it to the pool? Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, wrong way. Wrong way, oh no. <laughs> this, the forklift, man, it just was not made for high speeds. That is abundantly clear. But uh, still really, really awesome. Don't, I mean, for real, it's it's really awesome idea. Uh, it's just, I am just really bad at driving it, that's for sure. Let's yank it in the pool. There we go, where you belong. But uh, yeah, both mods actually are really awesome. The regular forklift mod uh, is very impressive, and I'm always happy to see new vehicles, no matter how uh, cliche, or, um, niche, I guess I should say. Uh, but just adding a bunch of crazy stuff to it is just the 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 cherry on top So if you guys want to download this mod, I'll have a link down below for both of these mods actually uh, But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode of beam and G drive. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, If you did make sure to that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already and you know what guys I will talk to you in the next one. See ya